G'day guys, back again. Today we've got a 2011 Toyota Hilux in that has an ABS light on. Uh, the story is the right hand front wheel got caught up in some full drive action and ripped the ABS wheel speed sensor off on the right hand front. Um, there was a, well, something like that and the, the wires were cut and God knows whatever else. Anyway, uh, apparently a new ABS sensor was fitted and the light is still on, it won't go off. So I've done the vehicle report already, the health report, and I'll show you what we found. So in the ABS, we've got 1201, 1241, and 1401. So obviously the issue was with the right-hand front, so we're gonna concentrate on that uh, C1401 right-hand front wheel speed sensor. So what I'm gonna do is I will get uh, some live data up on all the wheel speed sensors, and then we'll go around, spin them all, and see if we get readings on all of them or not and then decide what to do from there. All right, we're up the live data, so we can start recording that. Let's go over, we'll do one at a time. We'll do front left first. And you can see we've got movement there. I'm just gonna go around to the Go have a look there, and we can see you can see the other side was going too. So, let's go to the right hand front. It doesn't help that these are rubbing on the top there, but as you can see, we've got nothing happening on the right hand front. So, first of this, get underneath, do a bit of visual inspection and then we'll go from there. Okay, firstly, that does not look like a new sensor. That looks like a sensor from a Wreckers, and it looks like it's off a left-hand front, not a right-hand front. Look how the wire goes to that side, but if we go look at this side, you can see the wire actually comes out this way towards the car, not going in towards the brake disc. You can see that. So I might just quickly pull that 10 mil off, pull it out, have a look at the tone wheel behind it, just to make sure we're not having a pickup problem. And then if that looks good, we're gonna go up, find the connector, and we'll get the scope on it and see what's happening when we turn the wheel. Well, certainly a little bit muddy in there. I dare say this has seen a bit of full drive action, but if we're looking inside there, I don't know if you can, you're not gonna be able to see that properly. But I can tell you that, uh, it's definitely good. See if I can get you in there somewhat. It's definitely good, a little bit muddy, but you know, if I turn that wheel, it's so hard to turn because of the turn wheel's definitely good. Sorry, um, I can't turn it properly because, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's good, 100%. I'm gonna put that back in and then we will double check uh, what's going on with the scope upstairs. Okay, so I've just had a look on the system and these are magneto resistive sensors. So we're looking for our battery voltage on one side, our ground on the other side, and obviously we wanna see a signal when we're turning the wheel. So I've just got the connector hooked up here on the right hand front side. So we're gonna see if uh, what we're gonna get. I'll bring up the Pico and Let's have a look at what we got. And as you can see there, we've already got our 12 volt feed. Now with the other side, um, our ground side, signal side, um, we can AC couple that to sort of amplify what we're looking at, but we can also still see what we see in a zoomed in version of DC. So I'm just leaving it like that. I've obviously lowered, I've lowered the scale and I've dropped it down so we can separate it a bit. So let's turn the wheel and let's see what we get. And we get nothing, absolutely nothing. So this sensor is 100% not working. Um, if you're not sure what it looks like, what I'll do is I'll quickly, I'll put it on the left-hand front. I'll leave the exact same settings and I'll go to the left-hand front and we'll just see what it looks like. Okay, so we're connected on the left-hand front one now. 
Let's spin the wheel. And there you go. That's what it's supposed to look like. So this is gonna need a new sensor. We're just gonna get a, a new one in, a genuine Toyota one. Run it back up. We won't get the scope. If the scope's around, we'll connect it. If not, we already know what a good one looks like. So we might just um, plug the diagnostic tool back on and graph it and make sure we get a wheel speed and go for a drive, clear the codes and see what happens. So let's get the new sensor in. All right, guys, the new sensor is on. As you can see, it's going the correct way. So now is the moment of truth. Let's screen record that. Let's get up the data stream. I'll just bring up the right hand front, the right front sensor. And we'll just spin the wheel, wheel speed. Okay, we'll graph that. All right, let's have a look. There you go. There we go guys, ABS light fixed. So now we're just gonna clear the codes, go for a road test and all done. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.